Welcome back, Texas. We are so excited to be back with you. Wendy is back as well. That's my girl. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Yes, we love you so much. And we are so excited. Our next guest is Angela Billman, owner of Quality Recovery Service, a collateral recovery agency. And with us today, she's going to be talking about 30 years of serving her clients and the community. We are so excited to welcome her to the show. Welcome, Angela. Thank you. How are you? Hey, Angela. Hey, how are you? I am great. And we are so honored to have you. And just as Michelle mentioned, 30 years in business, that is in incredibly impressive, 30 years. And so for those who are watching and don't know, could you explain to us what Collateral Recovery Agency is all about? Well, first, thank you for having me on the show. Well, we are referred to that in the finance industry, but most people would know us better as uh, we repossess cars. So that's what most people would know us as. And uh, we cover the Dallas Fort Worth area and we work from clients from local credit unions to national banks. So all from the spectrum from one into the other. We've been doing that for 30 years. So, or the company has. I love that so much. Thank you so much for sharing and just bringing Thanks. light to what you're doing. This industry is so interesting and needed because you obviously have been in business for 30 years and you are doing our community such a service and serving us. And we just love that you are rocking it as a woman in this incredible industry. Angela, yeah. how did you get into this industry? Well, back in uh, when I graduated from college and with a CPA and I went to work for Ernst & Young, working in this industry was nowhere on my radar as far as a career plan would go. But as we know, life takes its own course and here I am. And the way we got started was kind of interesting. Back in 2002, my mother was working as an office manager for this little company and she could see that wasn't doing well and it was about to go out of business and she was concerned that she was going to lose her job. I told her I knew that she was such a smart woman and she's a hard worker and she is a very take charge person. And I had every confidence in her that she could do this. I told her I would help her as much as I could and I loaned her the money to buy the business, and she did. And in that time, we've grown the company from four employees to over 20 employees, and now we are number one in the Dallas-Fort Worth market. So it's been very exciting. Oh, my goodness. That is so exciting. You know, earlier in the show, we were talking about daily affirmations, that mirror work that we do, and it was like you were such a reflection of your mom, that is just so impressive and encouraging to any woman who's out there who doesn't feel like they can. You are such a um, beautiful image of what is possible if you dream big, you work hard, mm -hmm. and you know your worth. And you work in the debt collection industry like we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. How has the pandemic and the current economy impacted your business? Well, like many businesses in March of 2020, everything for us just shut down immediately. And we ended up having to lay off all of our employees. Most of them have been there anywhere from eight to 20 years. So that was heartbreaking for us. And we didn't know when we could hire them back. Thankfully, for our, because of PVP loans and an IDA loan, we were able to put them back on the payroll within five months. And it's been a struggle since then because uh, people were giving, lenders were giving loan extensions and the delinquency rates were low. We are still not back up to where we were pre-COVID. However, with gas prices rising, car prices are rising, interest rates are rising, it is forecasted our business is going to increase but on the other side, from a personal level and for our country, it's concerning because of all those things. So it's a, it's sometimes it's a little bit of conflicting. I'm happy that 
we're going to have more business, but on the other side, from, you know, it's concerning for, like I said, on a personal level and just for our country. So it's one of absolutely. those. It, oh, I'm sorry, Angela. Absolutely. It is concerning, but I am, I'm also excited because you hung in there, you know, you didn't close your doors. So since you were a B2B business, how mm -hmm. do you approach your marketing um, services, Angela? It's not as straightforward, I think, as a business to consumer. One of the, when you're trying to market to a big organization, it's very difficult to find out who the decision maker is. And then even when you find who the decision maker is, trying to get in touch with that person other than cold call email, which I found doesn't work. So what we've tried to do is we have joined trade associations. Some of our best introductions have been through those people that are in a different market. So we also go to conventions where we know that those decision makers are going to be and network. And then finally, one of our biggest selling points is our reputation in the industry. And most banks and lenders, that is not the client. That is not who they want doing business and representing them. And so we do pride ourselves on that we are professional, that we are as courteous as we can be and as disruptive as we can be and try to put that forth because that's what our lenders want. And so that's how we go about marketing. Thank you so much for being with us today, Angela. Please share with those that are watching how they can connect with you and find mm -hmm. your business. You can contact us at QRS at qualityrepo.com. Our website is qualityrepo.com. And also if you are looking for anybody that does what we does in another market, you can look up the American Recovery Association at repo.org and that can lead you to us or to someone that is in your market. Angela, we have just loved having you on the show, learning Thank about you. this this business, how you, how you really developed it, stuck with it, overcome. You've overcome so much and we're just so inspired by your story and thank you're you. so glad you are here. Everyone out there, I know they enjoyed it as well. Don't go anywhere because we're gonna take a quick break, but we will be right. I'm Elena Cardone and I help women reach a heightened level of success. You can keep up with me online at www.elenacardone.com. You're watching the Connect Network TV.